I just replaced all of my liquid toiletries with solids and it completely changed the way I travel in a way that I was not expecting. If you plan to travel in the US or internationally, liquid regulations can be quite confusing and quite honestly cause you a lot more stress when you're going through airport security. Whether it's extra bag searches or you have to leave some of your best travel liquids behind. So I set out with the goal to make sure that I never had a deal with those dreaded liquid rules again. By the end of this video, you're not only gonna have some great travel products that you're probably gonna wanna try out, but I'm also gonna be sharing why this simple change to my toiletry bag completely changed the way I travel in more ways than one. So make sure you stick around and let's get this video started. We're gonna start with a shampoo bar, and the one I've been testing out is this little guy here from Lush. And this is their Scenic Shampoo Bar, which is basically just, I think, like the flavor or the scent. And the main active ingredients in this one is seaweed, lemon, and salt. They have tons of these shampoo bars, and they all cater to like different types of hairstyles and kind of what you're looking to get out of it. But I have been super impressed with this little guy here. First of all, it lasts forever. I've used it quite a few times and you can barely even tell that I've used it. And I would imagine this thing could last you two, three, four months using it even every single day. Now, this thing does cost $15, which normally sounds expensive for something this small. But to be quite honest with you, after using it and noticing how long it lasts, $15 is not a bad price for this thing. All you're gonna do is you're gonna wet your hair and you're just gonna run this through your hair about three, four, five times and it's gonna start to create a lather. And to be honest with you, I was actually quite impressed with how bubbly it got. I was a little nervous using like bar soap as sometimes it doesn't lather super well, but it actually did a great job. Also, it smells really, really fresh and really, really nice. The one thing I will mention though, is that this one particularly for me, I found to leave like a little bit of like a blue residue if you like set it on your tub or your sink or something like that. So just be aware if you're traveling with this, you want to make sure that you wipe it up after you're done using it as it'll leave a little blue residue when you're done with it. But overall, this product has been amazing and I would highly recommend it. Now, if you're traveling with a shampoo bar, you're probably gonna want a good place to put it being you don't want it getting your bag all messy. And to solve that problem, I've been testing out this product from Matador. And this is their flat pack soap bag. And initially what drew me to this product was it's built with really high quality materials. I like its sleek black design, as well as it's super, super lightweight. It also has this roll top buckle design, which is nice. Its main advertised benefit is actually this dry through technology, which essentially means that you should be able to put a wet bar of soap in this bag, and it should be able to dry out through this bag. So for example, if you're traveling and you're in a hurry and you gotta put your soap away and it's a little wet, you can put it in here and in theory, when you get to your next destination, it should be dry. Now, after testing that benefit out, I've noticed that if it's too wet, it won't work. But if you pat your bar of soap dry a little bit and then put it in this bag, you should be totally good to go. So I wouldn't say it necessarily works perfectly, but if your soap is a little wet going into this bag, it does a very good job of drying out. You just wanna make sure it's not soaking wet. But in general, this is a great product to have if you are traveling with a bar of soap. And I'll make sure to link all of these products down below that I mentioned in this video, so that way you can check them out if you're interested. This next item is another item that maybe isn't necessarily a replacement for a liquid, but in general is just a great toiletry item. And that is this comb. And this comb is from Chicago and it is their model number two. And this comb is awesome and I actually should throw a shout out to another channel that I found this product from which is Pack Hacker. If you've never seen their channel, go check them out. They have tons of great travel gear reviews. But I got this product idea from them 
being that I found this comb to be super interesting as well as just look amazing for travel, so I wanted to test it out myself. This comb is made from 100% carbon fiber which makes it super lightweight and super durable, meaning that it's gonna last a lot longer than your typical plastic combs, as well as it comes in weighing only 7.1 grams, which as we know is great for travel. After testing this product out, I found it to work great for my hairstyle, just as any normal comb would. I would imagine though, if you have longer, thicker hair, being that this comb is quite small, it might be a little bit more of a struggle, and I'm not sure that this would be the best product. But for most hairstyles, as well as just travel in general, this is a great product, and I would highly recommend it. Next, we have pocket soap, or paper soap. I bought this from a company called Sea to Summit, and this is their body wash variation. But they have like a hand wash, they have like a shampoo, they have a laundry detergent, and it's all this paper soap. And to be quite honest with you, I think it's all the same, it's just branded differently. But this is super useful when traveling, being that it has so many uses, whether you're washing your hands, or like I said, using it as shampoo or laundry detergent. There's so many uses for this, and it's in this small little container. And what's awesome about this is it's 100% dry soap. So you don't have to worry about TSA or any of those liquid regulations. After testing this product out, I was quite impressed with how quickly the paper dissolved, as well as how bubbly and soapy it got. I wasn't sure what to expect from it, but when washing my hands, I usually use like one or two sheets, and it dissolves quite quick in water and it gets nice and soapy. Now, if you're gonna use it for things like shampoo and body wash or laundry detergent, you're gonna wanna use quite a few more sheets, maybe like five or 10 sheets. But in general, this product is a great replacement for those liquid soaps. Next, we have solid toothpaste. Now, I've been testing out these little solid toothpaste tablets from this company called Bite. I know there's quite a few other companies out there. These are just the ones I've been testing out and they've proved to be quite convenient. One thing that I really like about these solid toothpaste tablets is that if I'm traveling for like a long weekend, I can just take like three of these things or four of these things, rather than bringing like a travel size uh, liquid toothpaste tube that has the chance of exploding as well as just taking up more space Just bringing like three or four of these little tablets has been really really nice And pretty much how you use these things is you just take one of the tablets you pop it in your mouth You give it a good chew you wet your toothbrush and you just start brushing and it works pretty great It honestly is just kind of like normal toothpaste one thing I will say though is the first time I used it I didn't chew it quite enough and so I kind of had these like bigger chunks floating around in my mouth while I was brushing my teeth. I would recommend giving it a really good chew before you start brushing your teeth, being that you want to break up that tablet quite a bit so that way you don't have those big chunks. But if you chew it enough, as well as you get enough water in your mouth, it honestly just feels like normal toothpaste and is a great replacement from the messy liquid toothpaste. Now, to go along with our solid toothpaste, you're gonna need a travel toothbrush. And I bought this travel toothbrush from a company called Gum. It's like just their travel toothbrush. One thing I really like about this toothbrush is the design, right? It kind of encloses in itself, so it keeps the toothbrush head enclosed, so you don't have to worry about getting it all germy and dirty while you're traveling. But it's kind of a, just a cool kind of folding accordion style design and honestly just a great travel product for a very low price that you might want to consider being that it takes up a lot less space than your standard toothbrush. When traveling through airports and airplanes, you might know that your skin can tend to get pretty dry and having some sort of lotion with you can be really beneficial. And most of the time that comes in liquid form. But recently, I've been trying out this solid lotion bar from Moon Valley Organics, and it's been a nice substitute. And I know this is just one product, and there's tons out there. I know Lush has some good ones as well. But let me know down in the comments if you've had any solid lotion bars that you've really liked. But one thing I've really liked about this bar in particular is that the smell is quite neutral, which is nice when you're traveling close to other people. With that being said, I will say it doesn't completely replace the benefits of liquid lotion. 
I find this solid lotion to be a bit more waxy and a little bit harder to dissolve into your skin compared to liquid lotion. But once you understand that you just have to work it a little bit more into your skin, it actually works really great and it might be worth trying for your next trip. Next we have lip balm and my personal favorite is Burt's Bees and to be honest with you, this is probably my most used solid toiletry item. This is just not really a replacement to any item other than this is something you're gonna wanna have with you when you travel. Don't have too much to say about this other than make sure you have this in your toiletry setup. The next item I have for you is actually something that I don't use but my wife Meg does and it is a cooling stick, which you might be asking yourself, what is a cooling stick? And I was asking myself the same question. But essentially it's like a face lotion but it provides like a cooling effect to take some of the inflammation out of your face. And Meg uses this in everyday use as well as when we're traveling. And it can be really nice when we're traveling. If you've ever been like on a long international flight and you kind of wake up from your nap and your eyes feel super inflamed and your face feels super inflamed, you can put this face lotion on and it like cools everything down. It takes out some of that inflammation. So much so when I've used this before, it actually makes my eyes water a little bit because it's, it has such a strong cooling effect. But if this interests you, it can be a great product, not only to moisturize your face, but as well as to take out some of that inflammation that comes with travel. After making the change from liquid toiletries to solid toiletries, I can't even explain how much easier airport security is. It saves an entire step with pulling Ziploc bags and liquids out of my bag for security, as well as I just don't have to worry about measuring and making sure that all my liquids are the right size. It really speeds up that security process. As well as I found my toiletry setup to be a lot smaller and more compact. All of these solid travel products are quite small and quite lightweight, which makes my toiletry setup just a lot better in general, not only for security, but just moving about the world. So I've really enjoyed making the change over to solid toiletries. Now keep in mind, in this video, I've only mentioned like five or six products. There are so many solid toiletries out there and I would recommend doing some of your own research to find replacements that you need. They have solid bug spray, they have solid sunscreen. There are so many solid travel products out there that I would highly encourage you testing out. Leave a comment below for any solid travel products that you've been testing out that you really enjoy. I would love to try out some other solid travel products or other solid travel toiletries so that way I can improve my setup. If you enjoyed this video, I would also recommend checking out the video we made about how to pack your toiletries, especially if you plan to bring liquids. We go over all the TSA liquid rules and regulations, including the 311 rule. So if you're curious on how to pack your liquids efficiently, I'd recommend watching that video as well. If you enjoyed this video though, please, please, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We will see you in the next video.